Hello and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. Tonight we are working on Module 7, Lesson 10, and today we're, do we're solving multi-step measurement word problems. So in each of these problems, we're going to have to basically solve a problem inside of a problem. We're going to have to solve one problem, and that's going to help us solve the next problem. Some of them will take um, two steps. Some of them may take more than that. So we're going to try just one of the problems from tonight's homework, one of them from the middle of the pack. Let's take a look at problem number four, and I'm going to use our read, draw, and write strategy on this problem. So let's see. Let's read number four together, okay? Maya is four feet two inches tall. Her sister Allie is ten inches taller. Their little brother is half as tall as Allie. How tall is their little brother in feet and inches? Hmm, okay, so we know Maya's height. We know Allie's height in relation to Maya's height. And once we have Allie's height, then we'll be able to figure out the brother's height in relation to Allie. So that's our multiple step. Let's see what we can draw, okay? We'll move on to our drawing portion. So Maya, let's see, Maya is four feet two inches tall. Okay, that's good. That's a good tape diagram for Maya's height. Allie, let's see, Allie's taller. So Allie's that amount plus ten inches. Right, so that's four feet two inches plus the ten inches, right? That would be Allie's feet. Let's see if we got that right. Her sister Allie is ten inches taller, right? So more, right? Okay. And now the brother, oh the brother doesn't get a name, does he? Hmm. You can call him Junior. Well, we'll just call him B for brother. The little brother, the little brother is half as tall as Allie. Oh, okay. So if we looked at Allie's height and we said, well, there's about half. It's one half of Allie. Okay, we don't know what that is yet, but we know relatively what it is. Okay, well, let's get going on this then. Um, so Allie's height, let's see. We've got Maya's height plus 10 inches, so that's 4 feet 2 inches. So plus 10 inches would be 4 feet 12 inches. But hey, 4 feet 12 inches... That's the same as five feet, right? Those 12 inches just make up a foot. So we can turn those 12 inches into her fifth foot. And so now we know that Allie is exactly five feet tall. Now, why don't we solve for Allie? Now we can figure out the little brother, right? The little brother is half as tall as Allie. So basically, half of five feet, so two and a half feet. But wait, they want it in feet and inches, so two and a half feet, let's see. Well, you know, it's funny, we, you know, we simplified 4 feet 12 inches, but it's actually easier to divide 4 feet 12 inches than it is to divide 5, because 5 divided by 2 is 2 and a half. We could divide 4 feet 12 inches much more easily. Let's see, half of 4 feet is 2 feet, and half of 12 inches is 6 inches, right? Let's see, so that's 2 feet 6 inches. Oh, that's the same as 2 and a half feet, sure, sure, that makes sense. All right, well, it looks like we're already done. Let's see, let's do our right, let's see... Um, the brother, who doesn't even get a name, is two feet six inches tall. That's half of Allie's height, and Allie herself is a little taller than Maya. Awesome! That's all we need to do for this multi-step problem. When we break down problems like this into simpler problems, you'll often find that the simpler problems really are quite simple, that you're very capable of doing them. So the important part here is to read carefully, to draw accurately, and then we can do some math. And the math is often in these word problems not too difficult. The hard work really is in the reading and the drawing in some of these. Once we get to the calculations, eh, you know, this isn't very difficult, right? We can add 10 inches to 4 feet 2 inches, and we can divide 4 feet 12 inches or 5 feet in 2 pretty easily. That's not a problem. So it's important that we get, we get our understanding of the problem right first, and that we get a good, accurate drawing of our problem first, and then the rest of it will follow suit. Okay? Thanks for joining me for another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. I'll see you again next time.